everyone, every lady, every man, every trans person, every non-binary, gender-fluid person out there, you all suck. Just kidding. I just want to say, welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 96, y'all. I don't discriminate. I don't hate. You got something to do with your body? Then do it. I don't give a shnikes. I don't care, okay? Just saying. Just saying. And what I w- what else I'll say is this. If you hear a loud noise that sounds like uh, a jet engine or something, it's simply because my air conditioner is loud AF, Okay? It's a big one, stands on the ground, has a hose that sticks out the window. You know the ones. It's loud. Can't compensate by shutting it off because I will overheat myself and I'll pass out because I can't stand being hot. And I'm not going to sit here and pass out for your ear pleasure just because you don't like the sound of the air conditioner. <clears throat> I don't even think you can hear it, to be honest. I really don't. But if you can, just know that it's the air conditioner, okay? It's summer, and it's Canada, okay? And global warming is making Canada way too f***ing hot. You understand? And I'm sick of it. I'm not the kind of person who can just sit around in heat and not give a flying finagle about it. One second, I'm just just trying to fuck around with the microphone. Trying to make it good, you know? Trying to make a decent podcast here. But it's hard when your audience members complain about the sound of the air conditioner. Well, let me tell you something, bitch. If you were in this room right now and I shut that air conditioner off, you'd be dead. It's hot in here. No one's complaining. I'm complaining. Just need to get that out of my system just to jumpstart the show. So here we go, folks. Episode 96. Here's the card. It's pink. We're on the pink section. And there's Oliver. I didn't even ask him to come up here. He just decided, I'm going to come up. And I'm going to make you even warmer than you already are. Isn't that right, Ovla? You got something to say to the audience, Ovla? Say it into the mic. Say it. Say something. Say something! You remember that? One of my videos, I said that. I don't remember which one. Hey, you can't sit on my cord, bro. Pulling my neck down. Can you believe this guy? Can you believe this motherfucker? So it's hot, like I said, okay? Speaking of being hot. You remember when you were a child, and it was the mi- a midsummer's day, and you're in your house, or you're outside. You're probably outside if you're if you grew up in my era or young or older. Um. And anyway, anyway, you're outside, and you hear this little jingle jangle. You know the jingle. You know the jangle. You know the jingle jangle? I just thought of something. I just fucking thought of something. I'm a Tyrannosaurus. Nope. Okay, I just thought of something and it's not going to work, so I'm not going to do it. I'll do it some other time. (laughs) So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember the ice cream truck? The ice cream fucking truck? It would come. We all all remember. Of course we remember. What happened to them? Why don't we see them anymore? Because I remember the ice cream truck was a very special moment in all of our lives. Because you hear that jingle and you stop everything and you freak the fuck out. And you run, you panic, you almost cry trying to find your parents so they can give you a few bucks to go get an ice cream. And there's times when 
all your friends happen to already have cash on them and they just run right up to the truck and you're fucking crying and searching the place for your parents and you can't find them. And by the time you find them and get the money, the ice cream truck has already left. That's no fun. And why doesn't the ice cream truck guy let you know when he's coming down your block, right? Like, shouldn't he uh, put up a poster or something? This was before the internet, of course, but... I mean, nowadays, if they brought it back, he could just make a post on fucking Twitter. and Say, hey, I'm coming down 5th Street today. Get your money. Probably make more money doing it that way, to be honest. But no, back then, there was no warning. There was no... Uh, there was nothing. You had you didn't even know if the ice cream truck was going to be there that summer or not. It could just not show up one year. And it could show up in October. You never know. But it shows up and you hear the little jingle and you run like a mosk. Now, what was your favorite type of ice cream? I typically got the SpongeBob one that everyone hates, but I liked it. I, it, it's not a bad flavor. Well, at least it wasn't when I was a child. The The SpongeBob never looked like an actual Bob that sponges. You know, you know what I'm saying. That SpongeBob never looks like a SpongeBob. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Keep that. Keep that going. Okay, I, I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm freaking curious. I just need to see here. Me and my friends will spike the punch. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, if you do this. Ah, Sakajawea. Ah, yeah, Sakajawea. Ah. That's how you do it. That's how you fucking do it. I just figured it out, but I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. Olive. I didn't say you could do that stuff. Get out of here. Get down, please. You're too warm. Get down. Jesus. Uh, I thought about this ice cream topic when I was watching Rhett and Lonk. You know those two, Rhett and Lonk? From the internet. Lonk and Rhett. No, Olive, go. Go way down. Go find somewhere to lay down. Go find somewhere to lay down, Olive. Go lay down. Please. Oops, I moved the table. Cool. Oh, shit. Oh, it's way off its mark. Sorry, I've got marks on the floor, so I know where to put the table because I always move it. Go lay down, Olive. Go lay down. Please. No, it's not animal abuse. I'm just joking. Olive's a great, 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 great Mexican little dog. He's Mexican. He is Mexican. He is most definitely Mexican. He's a Mexican dog. Mexicano. I am thinking of stuff right now. There's stuff running through my brain. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to try that. I don't know if that would work, though. Ooh, I'll have to do that another time. I have some ideas blowing through my, my noggin right now. They're blowing all right. Can't do it right now because we're in the middle of a poop cast. So I will uh, just write it down and I'll try it next episode. Let me just write down here. Uh, uh, okay. Sorry, had to write. Can't talk and write. I'm not a fucking super genius multitasker, which no one is. You know you can't multitask as a human? People say they can. I mean... To an extent, but <clears throat> truly you can only focus on one thing at a time. You know, you can go from, you know, like writing something down to doing the dishes to 
But you can't like do the dishes while you're writing an essay at the same time, you know? Like that's unless you're really fucking some kind of maniac person who who was born with weird genetics or something. You can't multitask. You can't multitask. And I'm not afraid to say it. You know any good shows on Netflix? Do you? I'm trying to find some good comedy shows. Some good, good comedy. Give me the comedy. I found one. It's a Canadian show, too. And it's on Netflix. And it is very fucking hilarious. I watched all three. I binged all three seasons in about two days. Of course, it was easy because it's a, it's a comedy sketch show. That uh, each episode's only about 20 minutes, but they're packed of a bunch of short skits, and fuck me, they are funny. And it's all women, too. It's all women, which is f- even better. And they're, well, like two, three, three are sexy, one's not so sexy, but <laughs> that doesn't matter, okay? They're just humans. Don't fucking use them as sex items. Um, the show's called The Baron Vaughn Sketch Show. Canadian, and it is fucking hilarious. It's so funny. Right from episode one. I couldn't believe... Like, normally I, these sketch shows are almost too cheesy and over the top. Like, they they always try to be ironic, Okay. But there's certain sketch shows where the acting is not on point. Their irony is too... It's either underplayed or it's extremely overplayed. But these girls, they have it fucking perfected. I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't. This show, the Baron Vaughn sketch show, I highly recommend. I laughed at every single one of their sketches. I couldn't believe it. it was so funny. And I'm probably going to go back and rewatch it all over again. It was one of the best sketch shows I've ever seen. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Very funny. Very funny. Very funny. Very funny. Ve- okay. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. If it's not available on your Netflix in whatever country you're in, well, screw you. I don't want to talk to you. You can go find something else to watch. And also, I saw on Twitter today, on the twit, twit, twit world, on the twatter, on the twit, 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 that, um, what's his name? Nick Kroll announced that... Netflix has uh, uh, they have green lighted uh, what the fuck loudmouth is that his show cum mouth or something loudmouth whatever his 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 little uh, animated show is on Netflix they go lighted it for or green lighted it for uh, three more seasons that's crazy usually they uh, well yeah that's pretty cool though Three seasons. He set for three, three more years. Three more seasons, boy. That'd be a great, great feeling. Just to know that the next three years of your life are set in stone. You're good to go, boy. I'm sure he's going to do other stuff on the side. Because he's a funny failure. Does he do stand-up? Does Nick Kroll do stand-up? I don't even know. But what I do know is he's a pretty funny feller. If you haven't seen Loudmouth, you should check that out too. I don't even know if that's... Oh, God. Ow, my nose. Wow, that hurt. Is that what it's called? Loudmouth. Is that what it's called? That's not what it's called. Hold on. Nick Kroll... Uh, animated and what 
is this show called? Big Mouth. It's called Big Mouth. Jesus. If you're gonna if you're gonna promote a show, get the fucking title right, you cocksucker. Oh my there's something going on with my nose, really. Oh wow. It feels like someone just went up there with a screwdriver and dug around. One of these days I'm gonna die right on the podcast set. And you know what? I'd be happy. Oh, shit. I forgot to do something. Damn it. Damn it. See, usually what I do before, or what I've been trying to do, but I'm very terrible at it. I always tell myself before I start up the podcast, I'm like, okay. Do a little fucking stance so you can use it as a still image for the fucking thumbnail. Before the podcast starts, so you don't have to go searching through the podcast to find a goddamn thumbnail. And I fucking keep for goddamn getting. I even write a note down, and I and I look at it, and I told myself before this episode started, I'm going to do a thumbnail pose. Just didn't do it. And that was the past, like, fucking six episodes. I forgot. Goddamn. Goddamn, goddamn. Am I ever going to get it right? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. You yeah. yeah. you guys hear about ASAP, the Rocky? He's in jail in Sweden. I may have mentioned it. Uh, but uh, Donald Trump decided he was going to talk to the Swedish Presidente and he said we had a great conversation and we're going to do what we can to get ASAP out of the prison or blah blah or keep him comfortable or while he's in there at least or something I don't know but he is Oh, look at this. He so he went to prison, to prison or jail or whatever, to for something, you know, it was a little fight he had, but the guy, if you've seen the video, which I'm not going to show, but there's a video of the people, these weirdos following ASAP and his crew the whole time. And they're just fucking being weirdos like they keep saying you you need to buy me a new pair of uh headphones or something and the bodyguard keeps saying you guys need to back the fuck off just leave us alone and they kept you know they didn't touch them they just kept saying stay away stay away stay away and you know in the beginning of the video the bodyguard has to kind of fight him off a bit and he broke his headphones and then after that they kept following him and then eventually they just had enough and they started attacking each other. And then ASAP went to jail. And then Donald Trump talked to the goddamn Sweden Prime Minister or whatever the fuck he is, President. And now I'm seeing that Sweden rejects... Where's my mouse? Why is my mouse... My mouse isn't moving. What the fuck? Uh-oh. What's going on? What the fuck? Oh my god, why does everything gotta fuck up all the time? What's wrong with my mouse? What the hell? It won't move. What the fuck? I can't even fucking... Oh my god. This is stupid. Shut it down. Computers really know how to piss me off. Out of everything that could possibly piss me off, computers fucking do it the most. And this has never happened to me before. The fucking mouse doesn't work. Like, come on, man. Seriously? The mouse? 
I'm I'm moving the trackpad around, and literally the mouse is not moving. Well, it might now that I restarted the fucking computer. God. Like, out of all the things to stop working, the goddamn mouse, the cursor, come on. Oh, it's working now. Yeah. Huh. Oh. This fucking piece of shit. Throw you out the window. I'm not afraid. I've done it before. God damn it! I have anger issues, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm like Andy from The Office. One of these days, I'm going to punch a hole through a wall. Your computer shut down because of a problem. Do you want to reopen? Yes, please. Fuck. Just fucking start the computer. I had to shut it down because the goddamn mouse stopped working. God! Some people. Yes, reopen. Fucking reopen the page so I can read it. Okay. Sweden rejects Trump's demand to intervene in ASAP Rocky's assault case. Ba 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 da. Uh, Swedish government rebuffed. Rebuffed? Is that a word? So I'm trying to see what the hell's the deal here. Give oh Donald Trump tweeted, "Give ASAP Rocky his freedom." We do so much for Sweden, but it doesn't seem to work the other way around. Sweden should focus on its real crime problem. Hashtag free Rocky. Wow. That's weird. That's weird for a, a president to tweet something like that. Cuba Gooden Jr. is fucking in the in the news too, cause he he's a rapist or something, I guess. But everyone's a rapist now. Can't even look at a girl without being accused of rape. Rape. Who wants to get raped? Anyway. So ASAP, how, who, what's going? Who who knows how long ASAP's gonna be in the fucking prison cell for? You know, personally, I don't think he should have been in prison at all. It was just a simple fight. Um, he didn't even initiate the goddamn fight. He tried passively multiple times to to get rid of the dude who was bothering him. And this Swedish piece of shit, if he even was Swedish, just kept aggravating. He would not leave them alone. They were walking away from him, and he was following him and his crew the whole time. And you know what? I feel like anyone in that situation would have snapped, just like ASAP did, and they would have had to teach this motherfucker a lesson. Drop him to the ground. Smash his face into the... Into the into that uh, metal garbage can over there. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Uh, you know, I could see like, yeah, okay, put him in, put him in jail for a night, put him in the drunk tank or something, if he was drunk. But don't fucking arrest him and keep him in prison, and then give him assault charges and make him go to trial and. That's just redonk, man. Fuck Sweden. And I'm glad that all these other rappers have decided that they're going to boycott Sweden. Yeah, it should be that way. If you're going to pull some stupid shit like that, Sweden, then we're not going to give you our art anymore. You don't deserve it. But then there's the other argument that people will say, but they're like... He shouldn't have fought. He deserves what he got. This is nonsense. You, you do the crime, you pay the time. <laughs> okay, Grandma. You keep saying shit like that. You're going to die soon anyway. No one cares what you have to say. That's, you know. What is it about old people? What is it about old people sticking to their old people views? Huh? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You got these old people that 
are still stuck in the fucking 1950s. <clears throat> they don't move on. The, the ideals you grow up with as a child sticks with you. But I'm wondering if this new generation, like my generation, the millennials and Generation X and whatever's next, are we going to be more accustomed to changing our views based on, you know, evidence and new discoveries and such? I feel like I feel like it could be that way because not everybody sticks to their ideals. You know, I'm not saying every old person does, but the majority of them do. I know a lot, especially in this small town that I'm in. Oh, God, it's disgusting. It's disgusting the way the old people think around here. And they all think the exact same way. It's like they're trapped in the fucking 50s. It's insane. This town has so many old people and they all share the same views and those views have been the same since the day they were born. And there's nothing you can do to change it. And you know what? I wouldn't even put any energy in to try to change their views because they're going to die. I hate, you know, shouldn't say that shit, but it's true. They're just, they're going to die. They're going to die. And their ideas aren't going to matter anymore because the new generation is going to Rise up and take over, as it always is. I'm not saying, I don't mean take over as in, like, world domination. I mean, like, they take over the position that the old people once had, which was the, I don't know, the dominant eh, generation. Because, you know, when, you, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you're in, your, like, your 40s to about 60s, that's your real prime there. 30s, well, we'll say 30s to 60s, maybe 30s to 50s, or maybe, yeah, maybe 30 to 60. That's a good prime area of, you know, you get your brain's fully developed, but you're not too old that it's starting to decay. You're, you know, you're in your prime of knowledge. You're more confident and comfortable in the world. It's the time when your voice really matters and the things you say are thought out and well planned and executed because that's the you know, that's the age that shit gets done. And then once you get past sixty, well fuck. Forget about them. No, I'm just kidding. There's there's people who can still be good and have proper thoughts that aren't uh racist like i'm serious the people around here the old people around here they're god they are they're not as racist as like they would have been back in the day but they're still they still have those racist tendencies and when you bring it up to them they get mad and say it's not racist i'm not being racist and then they try to give you an example of racism Eh. And all I got to say is, you know, just just think for a second. If you're if you have these old people thoughts, just stop and think. Just take a look. Just take a look at how the rest of the world is thinking. If you don't agree with the way they think, that's fine. But just look at how they're thinking, and think about what they're talking about. Just think about it, and it might make sense. And if it makes sense. Then just change your view, you know? it's. I know it's hard to. Especially th- on topics like religion. You know? You got these religious old folks who say, The Bible says that a, ne- that a man and another man can't commence in a, in a romantic relationship and it's gotta stay that way. We can't go against the word of God. And then you just, you know, they're so stuck on that opinion. And if you just say to them, okay, just let's just step away from the Bible for a second. No! Just step away from the Bible. I don't want it. It's my battle. Just step away for a second. 
Put yourself in the shoes of a gay man. I am not putting my shoes on a gay man. That is disgusting. Listen, Grandma. Just step out of the Bible for a second. Put your feet in the goddamn gay man's shoes. And just imagine what they must have to go through. They did not decide that one day they're just going to be attracted to the same sex. It was out of their control. And you may not believe that because you're old and ignorant. But that is the truth. And imagine, let's just say, for instance, uh, being straight was uh, not accepted in our world. Which it might end up being, it might end up coming to that way if we keep this political correctness going. But back to what I was saying. Imagine if being straight was looked at as uh, I don't know the same way homosexual homosexual homosexuality was looked at in the forties, you know. So you're a straight female. You are attracted to other males, right, Grandma? Yeah, the way it should be. Okay, Grandma. So let's say that the world was majorly gay. And they discriminated against you for liking uh, another male. Well, it doesn't matter because I know we're going to take it in and that's how we produce humans and it shouldn't be an inter- Okay, Grandma, just forget it. You know, that's how, that's how it always goes. And then you just say, well, fuck it. I'm not going to convince this old person. Why should I waste my time and energy convincing this old person? that you know I mean why does it matter just let people be and do what they want to do it's not affecting you like gosh so many people and they you know what else they do around here they will throw the n-word around just nonchalantly all the time all the fucking time They'll just throw it around. Like, they'll joke around and... Uh, there's times where... There would be... You know, we'd be at the work site and there would be... Black people working with us. And when they're not around... Certain individuals will make jokes... About them... And use the N-word. That happens all the fucking time in the industry that I'm in. And that's another reason why I want to get out of it. And the shitty thing is, when when those jokes happen, those racist jokes, there's always a group of people, of men, who are very confident, very alpha type people. And they all laugh and they all chuckle and they continue on the jokes forward and then there's me just sitting there in the group of people like uh, I gotta sit here and listen to this bullshit and pretend like I'm enjoying it because for me to uh, uh, just step up and say hey that's wrong blah 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 that would that would cause many issues for me one, I'd probably get my arse kicked. Two, I'd get screamed at and, you know, the whole everyone I'd have to work with would end up, you know, there'd be tension and then they would uh, avoid letting me participate in certain things. Blah, blah, blah. There's all these factors at play. So you just got to ignore it and I got to get away from it, which is what I'm slowly trying to do. And I've Tried to get away from it three times and I ended up getting sucked back in because it's so hard to make money in this goddamn place that I'm living in. It's the worst. And they fucking love fossil fuels. They cannot get enough of it. 
I'm in the oil field, if you didn't know. Okay? And no, it's not because I agree with everything that happens. It's because the town I live in uh, is run by the oil field. The oil field built this town, and that's pretty well the only job you can fucking get. I didn't ask to live in this stupid town. I met my father when I was 15, and we moved out here. And I've been stuck. And it sucks. I hate this place. There's so many bad things about this goddamn small town. This town is stuck in the goddamn 50s. It is. I need to get away. I need to just get away now. Get away. Next episode, I have this idea that I want to do. It's something I did back in, I don't know, 2007, 2008, whenever iCarly was like in its prime. Like, well, in the beginning of it, I loved our, 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 I loved iCarly. I was obsessed with that show. I really was. And I had a massive crush on Jeanette McCurdy. She plays Sam, the blonde chick on the show. Ooh. Damn, I could not stop thinking about her when I was 12. I could not stop. I was, she was the biggest crush I've ever had on a celebrity. So big that I went on the internet and I found her mailing address and I, <laughs> I mailed her a letter and then she ended up writing me back a letter and with a signed picture of herself and a letter saying blah blah blue thank you for being a fan or whatever blashki blashki blashki. And when I received that, I was like, uh, 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 <laughs> like I couldn't believe it. That was the first like celebrity interaction I've ever had. And I know it's here somewhere. I just can't remember where I put it. I think it's up there in the closet. In the closet. You guys watch iCarly ever? It's not a bad show. Not too shab dab at all. To be honest. Just check it out. Man, you won't like it if you're if you're in your twenties probably. But when I was a young lad, that was when the show came out and I had, you know, I was familiar with Drake and Josh already. Drake and Jiggity Josh. And, uh, you know, a few of the actors from Drake and Josh were part of iCarly. Like iCarly herself, Miranda Cosgrove. And uh, Jerry, or whatever his name was, her brother. He was in, he was in uh, Drake and Josh. He played the movie theater person. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I Carl, I know. Okay, I just liked it. Let's. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of Reddit, and then we'll end it. Reddit and end it, right? And I know that this one as well wasn't really that great either. But when you do these as often as I'm doing them, I'm finding it's hard to come up with topics to talk about now whoops dropped it but that's okay you gotta keep the train rolling okay what is the purpose of this chain do 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 so we got a house and there's a chain hanging from the gutter down to the ground what do people have to say I believe it's a rain chain, an alternative for a t traditional downspout of a gutter system. Oh, oh, it's in Ontario, Canada. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. 
I never thought about that. Just let the rain run down the chain. That's a fucking fancy, fancy idea. Uh, what a what a want a balloon, son? Cat, you see it? There's a kitty. There's a pussy puss. Do -do 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 -do. Apparently, gravity is an option. Let's see. Let's see this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you stop. You stop that, please. You stop. I can't hear it. Give me the M track, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Still can't hear it. Oh, that's because there's no audio on this. That's why. Dummy. This guy's pretty good. He's not as good as me, though. We are, we are. I attached a marker to my handmade 3D printer thingy controlled by Twitch. What's this now? This is on the shitty robot sub. Why is that guy just standing there looking at it? Say something, buddy. Say something. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I'm going to I'm going to move it out of the way for a second so we can see it. Okay. Cool. See what? Huh. Bark twice if you need help. Hmm. There's a, a turbine. You ever seen this shit in real life? Watch this. Watch what's gonna happen. Oh, shit! That's an expensive repair right there. Those things are a lot of money, those big windmills. They're like $2 million or something. What are you looking at, Awful? There may even be more than that. My boy got shaved at the vet and he's spotty even under his coat. Oh, damn! That's pretty cool. Look at him wagging his tail. God damn, god damn. We got a, a woman here. Oh! That was some gangster shit right there. I honestly thought her hair was going to get sucked up in that fan or something. Kids say the darndest hit. Hi, this possum was living in my children's bedroom for three days before we believed them. Okay, first off, it's not a possum. It's an old possum. And second, how did you not notice there was a possum in your house? Fuck. I didn't click it. Is that real? Why are people calling it the possum? It's an opossum. They changed it, remember? Although, I do not like the name opossum. I think it should stay possum. So, maybe they should just keep it the way it is. She has transition contacts on. They are essentially shades in contact lens form. They darken when it's bright. Ooh, let's see this. This is going to be cool. And go into the light and... Okay, okay, let's see. I don't really notice... Okay, I guess I can kind of see what's going on here. This is a really cool idea. Let's see them eyeballs, girl. Whoa, fancy. That is re a really cool idea. Chameleon mummified by the sun. What? You're telling me that chameleon just got roasted? That's disgusting. 
Happy service dog gets a new little friend. Oh, little puppy. Get your friend. Get your puppy. Fuck you, puppy. Let's see the new friend. Is that the friend? The heart? Is that the friend? It's just a stuffed toy. Okay, come on. This is... This is... This is stupid. This is not even fucking... Like, why do people post this shit? Here's a cat. Jumping up onto the top of the fridge. Oh, wow. Okay, it did it. Wait, what? This is the maybe, maybe, maybe subreddit, and usually it's maybe, maybe, maybe don't succeed. But this was maybe, maybe, maybe succeed. Nailed it. This girl looks like she can dance. Let's see. Fuck yeah, she can. Look at those legs. She can move. This looks like a dance from the 1920s, but much faster. That's pretty cool. That's a nice, nice Nance dance, Nancy. Uh-oh. Finish the gutter, and you s can knock off Early's boys. Is it a, is it a gif? Yes, it is. Wow. <laughs> That's really efficient. I can't believe how well that is working. Hey, it's Steve's first day. Steve, so what do I do? You hold the smoothener. Steve, just hold. Trust me, just hold. Jiu-Jitsu's real meaning. The gentle art of folding clothes while people are still in them. Involuntary yoga. <laughs> uh, that doesn't seem right. Dancing balloons. Dancing balloons. In turkey. Oh, that makes me hungry. I want some turkey now. <laughs> That was a great fucking song. Confessions. My little sister told me she was being bullied, and I ignored her. She killed herself in her room, and now I hate myself. Oh my god, that is... Whoa. Jesus, that is fucking heavy. Let's move on. A hairy chest swim shoot. Ew. She's playing a dangerous game. You're playing a dangerous game, my friend. Let's see. Oh, that is dangerous. Oh, that is danger! Why would you even consider doing that? And I think that was a girl. I wouldn't even consider doing that. Two brothers... Marry their fiancés on the same day in a joint ceremony. No, speaking of joints, I think he's smoking a joint and passing it over to his wife. And she's smoking a joint as well. Yeah, they are. They're all smoking the marriage of wannies. Uh, eh, smoking doobies with my brothers. <laughs> that's a... That's a... Isn't that an office reference? When the land is lava. Let's see this puss. Lots of cat videos. It looks like the Can I Has Cheeseburger cat. You know what? We've, we've been always looking at... 
my my page but let's go to the trending page and see what the fuck is going on in this world Neil deGrasse Tyson cleared by m misconduct investigation will keep museum job wait what what was the misconduct D -d 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 last year Neil de what the fuck Last year, Neil deGrasse Tyson was accused of misconduct by multiple women who had worked with or socially come in contact with him over the years. Like, what the fuck, man? Why do... Why... Why... Does everyone gotta feel like they need to be me too Like, come on. It can't be that bad bad and it usually isn't okay yes i understand women get raped okay yes i understand stuff happens okay but there's too many cases of minor incidences occurring and people take it way out of context just to fucking end someone's career. Why do you gots to do that? Come on, man. Like, that's just horrible. Uh, okay, what the hell? I want to see some pictures. See, this is why I don't go to the trending page. Blah, blah, blue blah. It's just a bunch of fucking bullshit. Am I right? It's just a bunch of buck of fucking junkers. <laughs> oh, tree. How do we save Earth? Stop making classic movies. He said there is nothing we can do. Okay, so here we go. This is a video of a Formula One race car who's about to smash a bird. I think. Watch out, bird! Woo! That was a close one. You would have got wrapped up right in that tire, and you would have died instantaneously. Zoomies. Why am I following Zoomies? I should unfollow. How do seedless produce get planted and reproduced? That's actually a good question. Let's see what they say. This is entirely species dependent. There are a handful of mechanisms I'm aware of. Plant is sterile and blah, blah, blah. No one wants to hear this. 10 out of 10 technique. Yeah, the cat sticks his head under the water and drinks. Woohoo. When men over 30 with a beer belly wear skinny jeans to look younger. Yes. Yes. What could go wrong? Let's test the new boogie. <laughs> Woo! You got myself a beer. This is... This has got Alberta written all over it. What a bunch of fools. That is an expensive piece of machinery right there. And you guys just fucking threw it in a lake. And to think, we all thought the guy on the top was the stupidest person in the buggy. Right? Let's see some good engineering. Oh, whoa, that is fancy. That is cool. That is fucking cool, boy. That's fucking cool! I can't believe there's a machine designed just to pick up pylons. 
Without you, 60 minutes feels like an hour. Oh, I love you. Every 60 minutes in African... Wait, every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. I've seen this guy before. Can't remember exactly what he does on YouTube, but it's very strange. The more I learn about religion, the crazier it is to me that people actually believe these things. Roast me. Pigeon statue in Singapore. Designed by... Fernando Botero. Yeah, it's an absolute unit, all right. Mosquitoes being denied the blood they crave. Ooh. This should be fancy. Okay, there's a screen. Nice try, Skeeters. You ain't giving me malaria. Ugh, just a bunch of fucking... I don't know. I don't know the word. <laughs> I hate mosquitoes. They all need to die. Just get rid of them. We don't. We don't need them, do we? I mean, the 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 animals that eat mosquitoes. They can find something else to eat, can't they? And if not, well, survival of the fitness. Am I right? What is this? Oh, I see. This, this, ah, uh, okay. This subreddit is called Don't Put Your Dick in That. So you know what he's thinking, right? He's like, I'm going to put my dick in this headless woman. His mouth. That's very, very violent. This iPhone 6S I found in a shop in, Tanz in Tanzania. What? It's perfumed body spray. Okay. This boy walks perfectly through his mom's hands swinging around. Okay, let's see. Is this going to be not that cool or is it going to be cool? Whoa, whoa, oh, the lucky little fella, he almost got smashed in the head. Thanks, I hate this sneaky banana. What? What do you mean sneaky? Oh, it's a snake. Oh, fuck. I thought it was a goddamn banana peel. More ghosts than people. Here is my Sadie Adler cosplay. I swear the colors are right. I just love the black and white mood. Damn, girl, you sexy. Uh, uh -uh. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do, yeah, let's do one more. To create... Genetic copies of your best fruit trees with this grafting tool. Do not want to watch this. Now this is unsafe for work. Let's see it. Oh, yeah, baby! Woo! There's a naked woman, and there's a guy on fire, and there's a tank. Oh, wow. Too bad you can't see it, though. Gots to blur it. Okay, folks. Are you growling? What, just because you can't come up here? All right, folks. Guess what? Enough of the gay jokes. Seriously, enough of the gay jokes. Stop it. It's very homophobic. Ha! <laughs> Hallelujah. Boop boop ba ba boop ba boop ba boop boop ba ba boop boop ba ba boop ba. I can't believe we're at episode 96 already. Feels like just yesterday I was doing episode 42. We're so close. 
so close. So close to episode 100. I could finally replace that zero in the thumbnail to a one. And before you know it, we'll be at episode 2, hundy. And before you know that, we'll be at episode 3, hundy. Then 4, hundy. Then 5, hundy. Then 6, hundy. Then 7, hundy. Then 8, hundy. Then 9, hundy. Then 1,000. And we'll be on the Rogan level. Although by then, Joe Rogan will be at like 10,000. I often wonder with these podcasts, because we're still in the beginning stages of these, okay? You understand? Like, how long does Joe Rogan plan on doing the podcast? Is he going to quit eventually, or is he just going to keep going? Or is he going to keep going and eventually have someone else take over the Joe Rogan experience? Hmm. I don't... I can't... You know what? I don't think he'll have someone... To replace himself. But he might. But I can't see it. The only way I could see that happening is if. He brings someone on. And they're on the show with Joe Rogan. For like. Hundreds of episodes. And you know. When he feels confident enough to pass it over to this person. Then he will. But other than that. But even then I still. Joe Rogan's the type of person where he wants to have things done. Th- properly. And it wouldn't be the same without Joe Rogan. You know? It's hard to think about the future and how it's going to turn out. It really is. But anyway, folks. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed... Ah, that doesn't make sense. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 96. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye! I feel a poop coming on. Will you open your mouth and take my shit? Fuck cats, you know? Ba 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 